to what the base glitch here and as you can see right here uh, we have something new coming in from Pearl shaving and uh, they sent us something new and I believe you might have seen this with other um, wet shavers who do reviews but uh, they sent this to me to do a review and I'm definitely going to do it for them uh, this I believe is the hammer it is commonly called the hammer so let's open this up and see what's inside I'm looking for something there you go so I'm gonna just cut this bag here and let's open it let's I'm gonna throw that away and let's open the Let's open this. Let's see what we have. Yes. Okay, yes, this is this is the hammer. So let's take a look inside this box and see what we have. I'm gonna use the knife again. There we go. Crack open the seal. Oh. Okay. I'm going to stand it up like this. Just for a second. And I think if we open it up, we have a thank you. As you can see that. We have a towel that cleans the unit. We have instruction manual. Uh, it's a shaving guide. I'm sure this is uh, could be helpful for anyone, namely a uh, first time user. We have a pack of Silver Max blades, and there's probably oh, 10 blades right there. And I, I'm looking at washers. I think this has to do with adjustments um, for the shave. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's what it is. Uh, let me just uh, bring this up. Now, this particular unit is said to have two combs, an open and a closed comb. I do see one right here. I'm going to take this out of the packaging. don't want to mar it. Oh, it's elastic. I thought it was a... It's an elastic one. So, let's just take it out like this. The, the packaging is just phenomenal. And this is... This is a heavy... This is a heavy razor. Um, it has... Some really great heft to it. I can see there's uh, some insignia here. Pearl. Uh, it says here made in India. Uh, it, it, it is uh, the handle is really nice. Nicely done. Um, just a beautiful grip on that handle. I like it. I like it a lot. Here's where the washer is. So I will read the manual and see what additional um, additional watches provide. It's got to be uh, you know something with the, the tightening or the you know the blade of some sort. So I will put this down here for a second and I'm looking at the other comb. I'm trying to get this out of the box here it is I can't seem to know how it actually comes out so what I'll do is uh, I'll figure that out instead of you looking at me struggling to find out what how do you get it out and then uh, I will uh, bring this into the den and we'll do um, a shave with it but before we do that I would like 
I'm, I always kind of do this. Now the overall, the overall weight on this is 4.7 ounces. Of course the handle is going to be the most heavy part of it. And that's about three, about three ounces, but it's 2.9 it says. So uh, handle, heavy. <laughs> There you go. So, we'll uh, we'll bring this to the den and we'll and we'll get this going. Okay, uh, here we are in the den and uh, we're we're going to demo the hammer from Pearl. Uh, they just sent it to me. Um, in in fact, I I broke the seal here on the uh, on the second uh, plate and pulled it right out and it was fine. I didn't want to destroy the packaging, but it seemed like the only way I can get it out. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use, uh, for the soap today, we're going to use uh, Thomas Shelby's signature scent, which I, I really like to use whenever I can, because I really enjoy the scent. Um, we're not going to be using uh, the Silver Max blades. We're going to be using the Prasanna, like I always use. And that's the only way I can tell how it's performing because I use them in all my all my uh, DE razors so um, that's what we're going to put in here um, here is the the open comb and of course on here is the closed comb now during the instructions and looking at the instructions I didn't see any explanation of the difference between these two things so if a new a newbie wants to buy a hammer um, and they uh, they they really uh, they're excited they have two combs closed in and open they wouldn't know by the instructions which one is more aggressive and which one is less aggressive that's an that's an oversight in my opinion also the instructions say nothing about what to do with these now if you are opening this up and you open it up like I am doing now you will notice that there is one here but what do they use for why is this ha why is this here is it just to so the metal doesn't go on metal obviously but a lot of people don't know that can you use more than one what happens when you use more than one you know, is is that a thing? They don't explain that in, in the manual either. So those are two things that I I feel like they missed the mark on. They should they should really um, identify these issues, identify these things for the for the end user. So right now I'm just uh, I'm taking apart the the head and I'll show you that. I just want to take the blade out first of its casing and I'm going to now put this on here uh, let me just do this I have to pick up the darn washer fell <laughs> let me pick it up okay I got it it's very tiny as you can see so let me uh, I'm trying to get all this on camera so uh, let me try to do that. So here we go. I'm going to place this here. Here we have the head. I'm putting the blade on top of the head there. I'm going to hold it by the sides. There you go. So there it is. There's the blade. And I'm putting this I, I got to keep remembering to show you. And I'm going to put it right here. So, so that's that. And now the washer goes on the stem. And the pole gets uh, screwed in. Okay, and that little noise you heard was just the other comb. 
It was just the other comb. I knocked it. So uh, let me put all these things on the side so I don't knock them over again. All right. And here we have the whole assembly. It looks fine. In fact, let me get my glasses. I'm just going to take a look because... Okay, so I just want you to see that that's looking good. That's looking good. There's no overhang. Everything looks great. So, with that, I'm just going to wet my face here. Now, I'm going to let this hot water go a little bit. Okay, it's already up to temperature. I'm going to do something different. Someone said to me that this is the way they, they actually use my stuff. They don't use a bowl or anything like that. So I'm going to try to do what that person told me. So I'm opening up this. I'm going to wet my face. I have about seven days growth. Six or seven. I'm going to take a little bit of this. So put it in my hand. Okay. I'm just going to rub it in. This is what he said he did. All right. And maybe. And then, I think what he said was he uses a brush with water and then just kind of finishes up. I just wanted to see if I get the same results. Yeah. Kind of. And if you don't want to invest into a bowl, you know, you don't have to. Whatever works, you know? There's just something about this scent that I just love. There you go. All right, let me just put this away. Because really the soap isn't the star of the show, it's the, it's the hammer. <laughs> now, I want to say that this feels good in the hand already, but Let's do the shave. Here we go. So far, so good. Razors so far. Tend to be aggressive. I'll let you know by the end of the shave what I feel.
See, I'm going, I'm going slower. And I can feel I can feel this is a very, very close shave. I can't imagine how close you would get using the open comb. Because I feel this is already close enough for me. Oh, okay, let me wet my face a little bit because the longer I take, the drier the shaving cream starts to become. I don't dare go as fast when I'm using my Orin. My Occam's razor I can go pretty quick with, but this one, no. Because uh, I can, you know, I know this is aggressive. Yeah. Yep. So, I'm going to stop there. And uh, let me just wipe off my face. And I'll wait to see what we, what results we get, you know. But uh, aggressiveness, it sure is. It's aggressive, you know. It, it's um, I don't I don't think including this one, they're still not making like a safety razor that is for everyone. So that's the inside after the shave. Relatively clean. I'm going to take off the, but you know, when you take off the, the razor blade, and then here's the head, and you can see there's some debris on there, so you can't just place this away. If you get this, you, you gotta, you gotta clean it all out. You gotta clean it out. And that's what I'm doing now. So I'm just putting everything back together. I know it's off camera, but it's the same. And here is the washer. You know, the one thing that Pearl has is. They have, I mean, the machining is, is incredible. I just think they need to, like, dial back the aggressiveness, you know, on most of their razors. Um, maybe their razors are not designed for someone with, uh, say, a, a non-coarse beard. I don't know. But, you know, as you can see, 
I got a, I got a really nice smooth shave. It's, there's nothing wrong with that. And um, I'm just gonna, since I have no more um, Thomas Shelby aftershave in stock, which I have to go down there and make. I'll just put this. Uh, oh God, that burns! I can tell, man. This is really, really, really. I'm, I'm putting on Lodge 49, but um, I can tell that this is. Uh, this was like too close for comfort, you know, because it's burning the shit out of my face. And that just means irritation. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> there you have it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this razor. Nothing at all. It's just aggressive. So, um, the hammer, baby. <laughs> Give it the hammer. And uh, I had a great, ra I had a great shave. You know, it was very smooth. I could never do two passes. Let alone you guys that do three, I don't know why, but if you're into three passes or you're into two, you may want to, you may want to just stick to one. <laughs> but uh, I got it done with one. So I had a great shave. Hope you have a great shave. See you next week.